Okay, uh, we have an uh, 850 meter track. Uh, we do the fast training on the outside um, uh, because on the on the fast side, uh, under the sand is a hard layer. Uh, the inside is just uh, uh, white sand over uh, a dark sand, and it's just for jogging. You know, they can build up some extra muscle and everything. And uh, we have a stretch of uh, 950 meters. We drive uh, uh, 800 meters up and down, and uh, it's uh, uh, m medium heavy. It's a sand uh, sand uh, stretch, and it works really out. Uh, works out really well for me. So uh, yeah, that's how that's how we work. How we work. This is uh, Robert B. Racing in uh, Vincennes uh, next week, the 7th of September, in a three-year-old race for horses, uh, three-year-old horses who haven't earned 140,000 euros. Uh, I think he might have a good chance. Uh, we've seen him before in uh, in Vincennes as well as in Angen, winning. He won uh, all his races except from uh, one race in Jarlsberg. But uh, to me, uh, it has had a lot to do with the race. He's a marvelous horse. He's very speedy. Has a lot of stamina. Yeah, he's just almost perfect. Is it the best horse you train? I think so. Yes. I think uh, this is the the best horse I ever trained. What is your ambition with? Uh, I think I want to bring him. Uh, bring him. Uh, uh, Quietly, you know, to a, to a, to a, the highest level, and yeah, of course, uh, we all want to win the Prix d'Amérique or a race like that. So maybe in the future, if he stays healthy. But I think he has the potential to get on that level, and then and then we'll see how good he is. And before the Prix d'Amérique, you, you have maybe an objective? No, we go uh, we go now. Uh, 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 well, we go Vincennes and then uh, we just heard last week that the uh, Italian Derby is uh, 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 the 8th of December. So um, we have to see if we go uh, uh, to uh, Italy for the Derby. Depends on a couple of things. It's, it's very late in the year and uh, of course we have to know uh, about the racetrack because we're going to build a new racetrack in, in, in Rome inside uh, the Torobat uh, racetrack. So we have to see that, and after that we bring him. Uh, we bring him. Uh, we try to bring him back to France uh, as a four-year-old, and do the the four-year-old races and build him up like that, just very slowly. So we're not going to see him in the next Prix d'Amérique. Uh, <laughs> that's not. Uh, that's not the idea. Okay, this is uh, Clint uh, W. Boko. We were already won in Vincennes, 13.7, 2700 meters, and was fourth last time in Angen against the, the best four year old of France. Uh, his next goal, uh, his next, next target is uh, the uh, Grand Prix de UET. Uh, he's going to race the elimination in uh, Vincennes on the 17th of uh, September, and uh, we hope to make it to the final in uh, Solvalla. What, what kind of horse is it? It's a, a very nice horse to work with. He has a lot of uh, stamina and also a lot of speed. He can go from the lead uh, as, uh, as well as, in the, as, as from the field. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's quick from the start and he's very nice to drive. You think he, he have a good chance in the UAT? If he can uh, come on in his best form, uh, I think he has a very good chance. He's a real fighter, you know, he always wants to win. Compared to uh, Robert B. Um, Robert B is, uh, uh, is uh, of course, a, a much bigger horse, uh, which uh, uh, who's going to make the speed a lot easier because he's so big. But uh, if you look at this horse, he looks like a very normal horse. But you only find out how good he is if, uh, as soon as you start driving with him. So both horses are very good, and uh, yeah, maybe it's a little bit hard to compare such good horses. This is Tiger Woodas. He won the German Derby. 
heat and final. Uh, he's going to race uh, one or two more races this year. One will be in Germany and the other, oh, the other one uh, may be the European Championship in Oslo. But it's a little bit late in the year so we have to see if he stays fit and healthy and has the right form at that moment. Otherwise he takes a winter break. We're not going to see him in the winter in, uh, in Paris. He's going to come back next year and uh, then of course we're going to try to make some money with him in France. Why you stop here in Twitter? Uh, because he has a long season and he's, uh, he's not, still not totally in his force. He's not full grown and uh, uh, I think uh, to build him up to, uh, to get him on a bigger level we have to give him some, some winter rest. What is your ambition with? Uh, also to get him on the highest European level. I think he's good enough for that. And when you, uh, you think uh, he will come in Paris? Uh, next spring. Next spring? Yeah. You have already a program for him? Uh, that depends on, because uh, on a couple of the four-year-old races uh, he's not allowed to race because he won a Group 1 uh, race now with the German Derby. So that's, that's a pity, but yeah, I can help it, I can change the rules. Eh? But he's a very good horse. He has a lot of potential. Uh, compared to Robert B. I don't know. We never, we never, uh, we never tried at home who's the best or something like that. So, for I think for both horses, uh, we haven't seen uh, the top level yet. Uh, well, we're probably going to find out in the future. This is this one is a very, very, very relaxed horse. You know, he, is, he, he doesn't know any stress, so he has a lot of stamina and speed and he's, yeah, he's just a, a very good horse. And I don't want to compare horses like uh, uh, Clint W. Boko and Robert B. And, uh, and, 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 and Tiger with us. You know, they're, they're just good horses. You are a, a lucky guy because you have three um, top Yeah, horses. I'm very, 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 very fortunate this year with the, with the three-year-old. So. I'm a happy guy. But I don't think it's only lucky. Uh, of course it has to do with uh, the system we built on uh, for the last 10 years. But you know, you have to be uh, a little lucky to get uh, those kind of horses in one year.